Yo, what's happening, everybody? Today is uh, February 28th, 2016. Um, it's time to shave. Um, so, today uh, today's going to be some nice stuff. Um, that's per usual, I suppose. Um, I think I may have some new people that are watching today. Um, if so, welcome. Um, stay for a while. Because um, this is never a quick thing. Um, Alright, so today... <coughs> Excuse me. Today, we're going to be using, actually, the soap um, is going to be Buffer Head. Buffer Head. And if there's ever any question as to where it comes from, yep, it comes from Nashville, Tennessee. This is, uh... I don't really remember exactly what the words are or what MFP stands for, but it's pretentious. It's, it stands for pretentious French words. I'm not the pretentious sort, so I'm not even going to attempt to uh, give it a shot. That's just not the way I do it. Um, today's brush is going to be the Copper Kitty. It's been a bit since I've used this brush. Um, 28 millimeter Shave Mac two band silver tip in here. Um, still debating on whether whether or not I want to yank this knot and replace it with something more uh, more up to my, I guess more something that I prefer. Um, not to say that this is a bad knot, but whatever. We'll, uh, we'll I guess we can discuss that. Um, for those of you that have never used buffle head before, um, it's good, it's really, really good stuff. Um, yeah, but I'll uh, again. That's something that uh, that's something I'll I'll talk about during the uh, during the events here. Mmm, it's pretty good. It smells pretty good. All right, let's get that uh, extra hoodness up in here. Today's razor is going to be the Wolfman turned up Wolfman. Uh, WR1OC with a uh, pulse silver super iridium is what's loaded in here. So let's get let's go ahead and get this uh, this thing underway. Today is a beautiful day. As anybody in the uh, I guess the eastern part of the United States probably reveled in the same. Uh, same beauty that I did today. I, um, the coffee shop that I go to on Sundays to, you know, hang out for a bit, you know, make some progress on whatever book it is that I may be reading. Um, the uh, espresso machine was down today. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna. I'm going to go to Starbucks, which, uh, whatever, Starbucks will do in a pinch. And, uh, so, you know, I decided as nice as it was, I figure I should, uh, you know, make the most of the niceness and go on a bit of a drive. I do like to drive, for those of you that are new here. Um, figured I would go on a bit of a drive and, uh, you know, do that. So, um... I live in Knoxville, Tennessee right now, um, and so I figured I would go to, uh, rather than one of the locations in Knoxville, I figured I would go to a uh, location in Pigeon Forge, um, you know, right there by the Smoky Mountains and all that. It's a nice drive, etc., etc. Um, so, I, uh, I made it over that way. And once I got to where that Starbucks was, the traffic was so heavy and bleh um, from everybody leaving, I guess, uh, from their weekend in the Smokies. And uh, I, uh, no, I wasn't going to do that. So I didn't. And I just continued driving. Um, so I just made my way over to the, to the park, to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And uh, just drove around on some of those nice roads up in there. It's nice. It's very nice, actually. Very enjoyable. All right, so time to get this underway, actually. Let me... Let 
That's a good look. There we go. All right. Um, the, uh, this razor, I've really, um, been able to, uh, master it. Again, this razor has the, uh, this razor, when it was being made, I asked James, James Wolfman, to, uh, increase the blade gap. And, um... This used to bite me every single time that I used it, but uh, not anymore. Said I've uh, I've really gotten my way. I've I've really learned how to use this thing, and um, man, it, it rules. It seems to really really like um, those Gillette Platinums that come in the black and gray package that for quite some time used to come with two extra blades in the package, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? I don't know if they still hook it up with those extra two blades, but uh, yeah, those blades, those blades perform really, really well on this razor, and um, if you've never tried those blades, give them a shot. They're very good. There aren't very many Gillette DE blades that I don't like though, uh, most notably, the yellow seven o'clocks. I detest those things. They're really the only blade that just absolutely has never worked for me, like in any capacity. Buffle had always a good performer. And good sense. Yesterday, actually, uh, yesterday Justin released. He uh, he released one called Fifth Season yesterday. Um, that kind of you know was for me, and uh, it sold out pretty quickly. So I hope that you guys, uh, I hope you guys like the scent. It was. Uh, it was inspired by one of my favorite fragrances out there. Um, it's a Creed, but it's not a Creed Melesame. It's actually one that I, uh, I don't really wear it too much. Um, again, it's an EDT, and it's one of the old, really old school ones. Um, that's one of those ones I just don't ever see them really releasing again. Um, it's called, oh, what was it called? Um, Bye de Ginebra, which means, uh, <coughs> excuse me, juniper leaf, I think it is. And um, it's very good. Um, but again, I don't really use it much at all because I don't want it to run out. It's, uh, Big time juniper, and uh, I think you guys will really like it. I absolutely do. It's one of those ones that um, I bet an aftershave in that same scent would be incredible. And yeah, this razor is just sailing on Sundays. I usually have a little bit of extra growth. Absolutely no problem for this razor whatsoever. It's just, it's gliding right along. It certainly doesn't help the buffle head. Uh, certainly doesn't hurt, excuse me, the buffle head lather. It's very, very good. It's thicker than, uh, it's thicker than a lot of other lathers. It's very slick. Post shave feel is very good. Residual slickness is very good. I know uh, Justin has mentioned that this year he wants to uh, kind of expand the operation a bit, which is a good thing um, because whenever he does stock these, man, they move out, they, they, they clear out with the quickness. I think, uh, I think fifth season sold out in about 15 or 20 minutes. It was, it was fast. It 
So yeah, you guys uh, keep an eye out on your mailboxes for those this week, I suppose. And um, I'll be using it on one of these videos very shortly. So yeah, like I mentioned, I think, uh, I think I'll have some new people, some new eyeballs on this video this week. Um, if you are new, again, welcome. Glad to have you. I uh, general, generally, excuse me, do these videos on Sundays unless there's something really incredible, um, you know, then uh, <coughs> then I'll do, you know, like a non-Sunday video, but that doesn't really happen too often. I think it's only happened like maybe twice. As you can see, I'm primarily a DE shaver. I also shave my head, unlike uh, unlike a lot of people that do videos. I don't really do product reviews. I just use what I like. And uh, this shave actually is, it's just that it's things that I like, made by people I like. Soap, Bufflehead, made by Justin Harding. The razor is made by James Dufour in Canada. <coughs> Sells them under the name Wolfman. Maybe you've heard of them. This brush was made by a good friend of mine named Derek. It's modeled kind of on a... Um, I wish I could remember which Simpsons it is that it was modeled on. But it's not one that they currently... Uh, I think it's an ASD3 maybe, but don't hold me to that. Um, yeah, Derek, Derek's made a few of my brushes and they're all, they're all beautiful. The man does not do shoddy work. <clears throat> this is an across the grain path for me. My grain kind of grows like this on this side and like this on this side. Ooh. Also, I don't have a sink stopper in this garbage bathroom. Why is the water? That's why the water is running as it is, and also because I forget to turn it off. <coughs> so I don't know what the deal was, but uh, when I returned home from the drive early, I actually ended up driving. I never did make it to Starbucks when I left this morning. I left here at like 10 a.m. and I got back at like 4. And uh, I, had the, I had the roof down on the car, so I had the wind whipping through my stubble. And, uh, man, I guess, I don't know, but as soon as I got home, I was so sleepy. I never did take a nap, but man.
I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Probably be asleep by about 8.30. For those of you that have been here for a bit, um, 2016, 2016 is shaping up decently. Again, still soliciting your good vibes and your uh, good thoughts and prayers. Send them over on occasion. I would, uh, I will absolutely, I will, I will appreciate them, and uh, I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to breaking some nice news here soonish. This is against the grain here. Hmm. Reopened a little boo boo there. Actually, that's like a little pimple or something. Yeah, man. Again, for those of you that have never used Buffalo Head or don't know anything about Buffalo Head, Buffalo Head is a type of duck. I didn't even know this until uh, Justin kind of broke it down. But a buffalo head is a kind of duck. It's not just a name. Wow, that's really good. It's not just a name. Um, there is duck fat in this uh, in this soap, and that contributes to the incredible post uh, poche feel. There's also clay in this soap as well. This soap is a this soap is a serious performer. This actually is on the very short list of people who make soap that I'll be buying soap from this year. I have entirely too much soap. See that thing back there? I've got another one. And then some more of soap. I'm going to be getting rid of some of them. Probably for really, really cheap. <clears throat> Actually, I know for very cheap because I just want to get them out of here. Um, but one of the vendors that I was going to be supporting, you know, when I decided at the beginning of this year that I have entirely too much soap, has actually gone out of business. Strop Shop, you guys made really good soap, man. It's a shame that, it, you know, it's a shame that you guys are out of business. I wonder, hopefully somebody will buy your formula maybe because that stuff is really good. A lot of people preferred the limited edition. I was not one of those people. Um, it ended up with a really soft soap that almost was a cream. And I don't, I do not like those kind of soaps. Um, most of the brushes that I use are pretty savage in terms of backbone. And um, man, I just, I can't get a proper load on the brush. Um, with those ultra soft soaps because the brush just ends up just digging through it. It's annoying. It's really bad um, So yeah, that's pretty much it here um, Let me uh, let me do a cold water rinse here and I'll be back in a second Very good. Um, actually, you know what? I was. Um, let me do this. I, I actually, I, I think I'm gonna use a couple aftershaves today, which I don't normally do, but I just kind of felt like it today. Um, at first, I intended on going with Barrister and Man Kyobu. This is Vever Heather Clary Sage. This is the only bottle that I have, um, so I use it very sparingly. But uh, today, uh, today is a good day to use it. But yeah, so I was gonna use that. But actually, before that, I'm gonna use another one. We're going to use uh, Mickey Lee Soapworks. Mickey Lee Soapworks Reunion. I hope that focuses. 
There we go. Make it so it works real new. And this is very better for forward. And uh, this aftershave is very nice. I'm really, really, really into these. Uh, really into this new. These 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 aftershaves that people are making these days. These alcohol aftershaves. A little bit of something there. These uh, alcohol splashes that give me that sting that I really, really like, but actually end up being half decent to your skin. Um, I, I, I adore that. And uh, this is one of those aftershaves, just like Tonique from Barrister and Man. Also, speaking of alcohol and aftershaves, if you don't, <clears throat> if you don't have any if you've not had an opportunity, I should say, to try this, the uh, Barrister and Man's Barrister Reserve, let me know. Cut off there. Let me know. Um, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be more than happy to send you a couple in the mail. Um, and that goes for anybody watching. So, yeah, feel free to, uh, you know, hit me in the comments or send me a personal message, whatever. Uh, I'll be more than happy to send, uh, send a couple out your way. Now on to the Vetiver, Heather, the Vetiver Heather and Clary Sage. Will said that the Kyogu is being reformulated. I think I may, um, I don't know if you guys you guys may not notice or whatever, but uh, oh man, this stuff smells so good. Um, I got a lot of sun on my head today. Yeah, you know, I was pretty much sitting in the sun for about six hours straight and uh, got a little bit of color. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he said he's reformulating the Kyogu, ooh, ooh. and I really hope he does as well, because this stuff's very, very good. Um, so yeah, beautiful stuff, great shave, James at Wolfman, Justin at Bufflehead, <clears throat> Will at Barrister and Man, Eric and Samantha at, uh, Mickey Lee Soapworks, thanks for everything you do, you guys. You guys' stuff rules. All right, so that's it. Um, I will be catching you guys soon. Again, feel free to throw a good vibe my way every now and again. Stay tuned. Um, see you guys soon. Peace.